Hello everyone, Jack Hamster here and welcome to another challenge video. Today we're going to find out if we can beat the hardest bosses in Fallout New Vegas with just a baseball bat. So for the rules, we can only use the baseball bat and all the modifications for it. We can start off max level with all perks allowed, I can use all consumables and ammo types, I'm not allowed to use any glitches or exploits and we're using a JSOY mod with very hard difficulty. Okay, so onto the build. So for this build, we're going for like a melee weapons sort of build, obviously, for the baseball bat. We're going to make use of as much damage as we can with the weapon. So we're going for all the damage perks, and you know, we're also going to get high, quite sort of high crit chance as well as high as we can get. You know, might as well, you know, we need to get all the damage we can get. So we're using criticals, we're using everything that increases damage, and you know, we're getting as much damage out of this weapon as we can. So you can see here, this is all the perks I've got. And yeah, I'm using obviously all the sort of melee weapons and unarmed perks that will affect this weapon and make it more powerful. And here's the damage, up to 42 damage, base damage without anything. And we've got the mods which increase the swing speed and damage, which is pretty damn good. And for the gear, I'm using the uh, sort of Atomic Valance thing. Remnants Power Armor, Space Suit Helmet, and Ulysses Mask. So this, I think, is the most powerful setup with gear you can get, because I've got a damage threshold of 50, and I think this is the most powerful uh, damage threshold you can get without um, mods or anything. And for chems, we use pretty much the same assortment of chems, pretty much every chem, sort of powerful chem in the game. And Rushing Water, that's one we're going to use quite a lot, because of swing speed. Okay, now it's time to spin the wheel. So, first up is Caesar. Wow, it's going to be interesting. Actually, be quite a challenge as well. Next, we've got Ooh. the Custodian. Okay, this is an old world blues like robot mini boss. So, that'll be interesting as well. Next, we've got oh, salt upon wounds. Okay. Next one. Red Scorpion Queen. Uh, there's actually two of these in the game, so I'll have to beat both. And then we've got the Overseer. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Such a fun boss as well to beat. And so that's a pretty fun list as well. I'm looking forward to this one. So first up, we're taking out the Rad Scorpion Queen. So there's two of these in the game. One of them is in the Rad, like a um, Rad Scorpion Burrow sort of um, like unmarked sort of location. So this is like sort of at the end edge of the map as well. So probably not many people know about this as well. Um, they aren't that much of a challenge, to be fair, this baseball bat makes short work of these rad scorpions. You can see I just absolutely demolished all of them. So here's the uh, scorpion burrow. And actually, I get a bit surprised, this thumb follows me in, I didn't think they could do that. And uh, actually, actually it actually really scared me. <laughs> so here we go, this is rad scorpion queen. There's not much else in here, there's only a few small ones, like baby ones. And actually, the Rascalping Queen, you can see it's got quite a low damage threshold. It didn't take me long to take her out. She went down pretty quick, to be fair. And there's a couple of others in here, little baby ones, and that's pretty much it. That's the first one taken out. Now, the second one, this is a bit more of a challenge because it's in searchlight. You can see there's a lot of... I've got to fight all the ghoul troopers that are sort of roaming around. And there's also a few geckos as well that are quite annoying. Um, obviously I've got to get the key for the, because uh, the scorpion is in the fire the fire station, so I've got to get the key first from Logan. The quickest way to do that is to just get rid of them. And you can see, these actually, these guys with the 9mm submachine guns take, actually do do a lot of damage against me, I'm surprised. But yeah, I uh, took them out, got the keys, and now I'm in the fire station. And here we go, you can see she's actually got like a glow, like a radiation glow around her as well, which is weird. 
but she's not any more like more difficult she's basically the same sort of difficulty and I thought I'd take out the small ones first you know just uh, you know finish save the best for last and use a grand slam unique vats to uh, finish her off And I'm actually getting quite a few criticals with a baseball bat as well, which is good, because I've actually got, um, let's see, the heavy-handed perks, so my critical damage is actually slightly less. I think it decreases it by something like 60%, something like that, and, and it gives me like 20% damage, so it's kind of like a decent trade-off, I guess. So next up is the uh, Overseer, so we're going to Vault 34, of course. I'm just going to fight these couple of these geckos, which um, they go down pretty quick. I mean, you do hit quite hard, these geckos, so you've got to be careful. But it didn't take me long to get rid of them. And before you know it, I'm in Vault 34. Now this place, it always, it's like, I think a lot of people hate this place, but I actually kind of enjoy it sometimes, because it's, it's quite a challenge. There's a lot of powerful, like, ghouls in here that can do a lot of damage to you. But, and you can see here, I was sort of in the armory, and I got, like, swarmed by, like, three of these ghouls. And I re actually, this was really tough. I almost died as well. I had to take a few chems to, uh, to keep going. But luckily, because of the Super Slam perk, that is an absolute lifesaver with melee weapons. It literally, like, it can just knock the enemies down. If I could, if I didn't have that perk, I would be absolutely screwed. That's all I can say. So I'm at the Overseer's area, sort of where he is. So I'm just taking a few chems to like bump my damage up and my damage resistance. And uh, I got rushing water as well, so my attack speed's increased. I've got extra damage from the like the Yagwai stake. Extra HP from Buff Out, Sierra Marjo Martini, all these things. And you can see my damage resistance is actually capped out at 85. That's as high as you can get. And a baseball bat, you can see the damage has improved a lot. So here we are, the Overseer. Now, what's funny is that you've got like his turrets, so they actually didn't do that much damage against me. I thought they'd actually shred me apart, but they, they didn't. And it didn't take long to take them out, actually. I took those turrets out really easily. And it's like a, this is actually a reference from the I think Fallout One in one of the cutscenes. So the Overseer's got like his turrets on his uh, like desk, which is quite funny. And you see here, I'm like I'm trying to knock the Overseer off. I'm mean, he's like he's not coming down. I always remember him being able to come down and attack you, but which is weird. And you can see, I actually do get up, and he does hit me, and it does a lot of damage. But I just can't seem to get him to like get off his chair. He just doesn't want to move. I keep knocking him over multiple times and it's like he just like pops back up. Which is annoying because I wanted to sort of fight him like sort of man on man, you know. But he just pusses out and stays on his chair, so I grand slam and finish him off. There we go, Overseer defeated. Next up we're taking out Kaiser, Caesar, or whatever you want to call him. So for this I was planning on sort of like just going up to his tent and I was hoping I'd be able to like take my weapon from the uh, weapons footlocker, which I did actually try stealth boy. And I did succeed in taking my equipment, but I completely forgot that they just instantly turn hostile when you've got your weapons back. They just somehow they know you've got all your weapons, which I suppose is makes sense. But so I had no choice but to take literally all the legion out all the way to the camp, all the way to Caesar's tent, which. Um, well, I don't mind. I mean, it's a bit more of a challenge for me, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go with it. And then I put myself full of chems, battle brew everything. That's why it's all red. And then you know, I'm just absolutely demolishing these guys. And what's really good is there's one of the perks I've got. I think it's um, I can't remember what it's called, but it gives you like more damage when they're sort of blocking. It gives you like 200% more damage. So it's literally I, I completely take I can literally instant kill some of them because of this perk. You see on a few of them, I think this play Tori and I do like, yeah, hit him there and it knocks him down. And I hit him on the floor and it like literally kills him. Just from that perk, like 200% damage I think. It's just a crazy perk. You know, if you're doing a melee uh, build, see so you did it there. Your melee build, you've got to go for this perk. It's just so overpowered. It's unreal. So first attempt, I don't, I just sort of use all my chems, sort of try and take them out without, um, because I was, I was going to, I had to use the turbo in the end to take these out because there's just so many of them. They just swarmed me. Completely overwhelmed me. 
So I had to end up using turbo, but you know, it's okay. I mean, as I don't use, I only use it if I really need to, you know what I mean? It's like, I try to do it without first turbo because turbo is so overpowered, literally, but I'm obviously way out in the middle in this situation. So I consider it it's used to be, um, to be okay. And you can see here, I get a lot more of the sort of, or not, when they're blocking, I sort of get a few, you see how much damage it did there. And it also knocks his weapon out of his hand, which is absolutely mad. You can see this baseball bat is just absolutely destroying them. And then I decide to fight these two left, left without uh, Turbo, just a bit more of a fair fight. Obviously I'm trying to save Caesar till last, I want a sort of like, you know, one-on-one -on -one fight. And you see here, Grand Slam, that's actually a really powerful VATS attack. It just, it like, it does loads of like critical damage, I think. So that's just really cool to have that ability. You can see there another unarmed uh, sort of block kill. <laughs> it's just so cool doing that. And now it's just me and Caesar fighting it out, duking it out. And I also decide, you know, I'm going to use a Grand Slam again because I flipping love this. Bam, look at that, 209 critical damage. And that's it, Caesar is gone. He was a Caesar now. Look at me in my throne. My space suit helmet on. So next up is Salt Pum Wound. So the, actually this uh, was a bit of a not that good of a challenge to be fair because the white legs they weren't hostile for some reason. I think I messed the quest line up. I attacked because I attacked like the Happy Trails um, sort of expedition team. I, I, I took them out myself because I thought oh, it'd be funny to take them out. And I, for some reason the white legs sort of didn't sort of become hostile. So I think this sort of glitched the entire play for this like, entire like DLC. It's just so weird. I've never had this happen before, but it kind of messed up the run to be fair this sort of challenge, but oh well, I just rolled with it. I still sort of did it And yeah, it did make it a lot easier though to be fair because you know, I'm basically ones attacking them first but Yeah, I, I skipped a lot of it because it's, it's just sort of a bit boring to be fair So I just sort of went to the last fight ending fight And here we go, Assault Upon Wounds, I think obviously I'm going to let him have a go at um, defending himself. But um, surprisingly, Joshua Graham, he actually does a shit ton of damage. His, his weapon is so overpowered. He must be getting some really high critical shots with that weapon. Because I, I didn't even get a chance, he literally takes Assault Upon Wounds out before I can even like attack him, really. So this challenge was just so easy. I, I, I think I'll probably remove this from the list because of how easy it was. There we go, I took his helmet. At least I've got a trophy to bring back with me. Now it's time to fight the Custodian. So this was also another easy sort of boss fight. I didn't realize how easy it would be, but um, it's still, I still did it. I still uh, sort of, you know, took him out. But um, actually I did encounter some cyber dogs and night stalkers on the way, which actually were more, more of a threat than the Custodian himself. Itself, I suppose, as a robot it doesn't have a gender. <laughs> but yeah, these cyber dogs, um, these weren't too hard, but then these are night stalkers, they sort of appear out of nowhere and they all sort of tag team, sort of join forces and try and attack me. So this was actually really power, really tough. I almost died from this. But I just about make it, I had to take some chems and stuff because I just, I literally, I'm going to die otherwise. Night Stalkers, they hit really hard. Their attacks just do so much damage. The Cyber Dogs weren't too much of a challenge, but these Night Stalkers are an absolute pain. And they got quite a lot of HP as well. You see, they got like over 200 HP, which is a lot as well for just a little, just for one of the, um, for them really. Yeah, I was really surprised. I didn't expect to get like this sort of encounter on the way. <laughs> Here we are, we're at the uh, tunnel where the custodian is. Which, um, which is probably not a location many people go to, to be fair. Like West Tunnel, there's not really much in here. So I suppose that's probably why. It's quite like the sewer system in from Fallout 3. You know, the, what's it, not sewer system, the subway system. It's a bit sort of similar to that um, inside. It's probably the only place in New Vegas where you can actually see the sort of reused subway system, like that's found in Fallout 3. 
So that's quite interesting to go back to that. Yeah. We've got two Protectron Mark IVs, and here is a Custodian. You can see he's got like 600 HP, but he's got no damage threshold, and I can knock him down as well, so it makes it actually really easy to fight him. So I don't think his attacks do a lot of damage, he's just got loads of HP. And you see that, that Super Slam perk is just so overpowered. It's like they don't even stand a chance. And I decide also to finish the Custodian off with a Grand Slam because I just love this Vats perk. This Vats attack is amazing. And he also has a Primer and Powder pack, which is quite interesting. So if you ever do this DLC, make sure you come here to get this because it's quite a lot of stuff that it gave me. You can make quite a few bits of ammo from that. So after those sort of boss fights, a bit underwhelming for me, a bit too easy, so I decide, you know what, I'm going to go to Quarry Junction. I'm going to take out all of the Death Claws in Quarry Junction. And, um, you know, this was an absolutely amazing challenge. So this is a bit of a bonus challenge. I just, you know, I thought it's got to do something else. It's like, they're, they're, those are way too easy, those last ones. So I'm just taking all these, like, chems to bump me up, obviously. I've got to, you know, get myself as powerful as I can. Get every advantage. Now, at first I tried to not use turbo, I was thinking, you know, I might try and take him out without turbo, but the problem is the, the sort of reach on the baseball bat isn't very far, you know, so the death claws can hit me without me actually hitting them, so I can't knock them down as easy. And I actually have to end up using turbo, for sort of the rest of it, to take them out. You can see here, I'm still I'm still not using turbo, I, still, sort of thought, I thought, you know, I'll try and take this guy out as well, but I actually end up getting destroyed, getting demolished. I'll try again, obviously. I, you know, I'm not going to like give up so easily. You know, I'm going to go for it, you know, take him out if I can. Which, um, you know, actually do succeed, but the next bit obviously is even harder because there's more death claws and you got the alpha male death claw, which is super fast, like he, he just runs so quick. You just don't, you won't stand a chance otherwise. And also what's funny is when you use turbo, it like makes them fly in the air when you hit them, which is really weird, like, it's such a weird, like, effect. It must be sort of part of, like, the game engine, like, glitching up or something. It's like how the sort of chem works, it, like, slows the time down, which is super weird. And then obviously next up we've got the alpha male Deathclaw, and I'm sort of wondering where he is, and he's quite camouflaged, actually. He's... I couldn't spot him at first, it's quite funny. So obviously a bit of turbo, and I'm making him fly, fly high. Reaching for the sky, reaching for the stars. Yeah. It just, it really makes it super easy though with turbo. But there's no other way I'd better take him out, it's the only way I could take the uh, Mountain Quarry Junction. Otherwise, well, I could probably do it, but it, you'd have to be relying on a super slam perk. It's like the only way you take this guy out, this alpha male, is if, if you knocked him down at first before he attacks you. Otherwise, you've got no chance. And then we've obviously got the Death Claw Mother, which is equally as powerful. But um, obviously, I'm using Turbo again. And I send this, I send a flying up the, the mound, little hill, which is funny. And take out the babies. Baby death claws. I do feel bad for taking these out, little baby ones. And then I'm, I sort of had to like wait for it to come back down, like a legs crippled as well, so it makes it a bit easier. But I still use turbo because um, if she hits you like once or twice, you're still gonna get like absolutely destroyed. But she's actually got no damage threshold, which is surprising. Because the other death claws always have like 15 sort of damage thresholds, something like that. Yeah, there's another one here. Should I just decide to, you know, I'm going to take him out. I've got, still got my turbo going on. There we go. That's pretty much all the death claw. I think there's like one other death claw that I missed, but it doesn't matter. I mean, both of these death claws taken out, so mother and alpha male death claws defeated. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this challenge video and I've got many more plans so stay tuned for the next one.